Hey guys, this is Crimson Autumn, and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. So today, I'm going to be ranking every uh, star card gun from worst to best. So before I do that, I think I should specify what a star card gun is. So it's like an ability star card that has an item that resembles a gun. So like the flash pistol for example that would be a star card gun grenades do not count um neither do disruptors you know abilities like that but like if it resembles a gun it'll be in this list so coming in at number 13 in dead last i have placed the repulsor cannon for the specialist class so this gun is absolute garbage it can't even do damage to enemies i'm pretty sure i tested it many times in arcade and multiplayer couldn't seem to do any damage it's basically a two shot gun and you have like it blows them back a little so it's almost like a mini force push but it's really bad it doesn't blow them back very far and you have to be really close for them to them for it to work so it is very situational and I have used it successfully one time after a long time of trying to do it. And it is just completely useless. Um, you have to use a different star card to do any good. So that is the Repulsor Cannon at number 13. So at number 12, another garbage weapon is the acid launcher for the assault class it's basically a barrage grenade launcher but only shoots one grenade and it's just a diaxis grenade which is already pretty useless and so it has a really long fuse timer just one shot and i have only gotten one kill with it after so much testing so it is absolute garbage so many better options um we're still in like the kind of category that's like these things you would never you you shouldn't use like they're so bad at number 11 i have put the special stinger pistol so this gun is where you shoot one shot it's like a pistol and uh it's pretty slow rate of fire but when you hit someone it does like poison damage although it's really like a kind of shock damage i guess electricity and it is pretty garbage it used to be actually really overpowered um they nerfed it hugely and it is lame sauce now at number 10 i have put the assault scan dart now this one is definitely more useful than the last three on this list it is like i actually use it in my assault loadout but the only reason I couldn't put it any higher was because it actually doesn't do any damage to players. I tested it. I thought it did at first, but I guess it doesn't. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool if it just did a little bit of damage, just kind of for the fun of it, I guess. And if it did that, it would be pretty cool. But it's it basically, you shoot it. It has a really big bullet arc, so like it goes down pretty quick. Um... And then wherever it is, it gives you like a few bursts of scan and it marks targets for you. So obviously that's pretty useful, but since it doesn't do damage, uh, I had to rank it pretty low. Also, I had a vote in my new Discord server uh, over whether I should put it in the video because it doesn't do damage. But they voted to have it in the video, so that's why it's here. Coming in at number 9, I have the Assault Flash Pistol. So, this gun I actually completely ignored. I'd used it like once before this video. And it, it, I don't know what to think about it. Like, it's, it's, it's alright. Um, the main gun is terrible. It does like very little damage. I don't know why you'd use it over your primary assault weapon. Um, but the secondary fire that you fire with the left or right trigger or right mouse thing um, is actually pretty useful it temporarily blinds enemies like a flashbang or flash grenade whatever and it's it's actually pretty good it's only effective at close range but I, I don't mind it 
so that's why I put it above the stinger pistol. At number 8, I put the uh, barrage ability for the heavy class. Uh, if you don't know, it is like a grenade launcher similar to the acid launcher, which was really far back on this list. But instead, it fires three small grenades. So it's actually pretty useful. Uh, you can hit it around corners and stuff, especially. It's really good in hallway battles. Outside of hallway battles, it's pretty useless. In fact, that's actually the case for a lot of the weapons on this list. But it's it's just kind of a mediocre weapon, so that's why it has a mediocre spot. Coming in at number 7 is the Ion Torpedo for the Heavy Class. Uh, if you don't know, it is an anti-armor rocket that you can fire. And it's really good against tanks, but again, not too good. So it's it's just alright. I think it could use a bit of a buff uh, to match well to be kind of even with the Republic Commando anti-armor attachment so right now it's a little below that I think it could use a bit of a buff uh, the biggest downside is that you cannot use it in any area phase that doesn't have vehicles so it is basically limited to vehicle only engagements at number six I put the specialist infiltration ability um, it is pretty it's like really good definitely best ability for the specials class especially the hardened infiltration um it's really good if you're a specialist and people get too close to you uh yeah it's it's great definitely use it if you are using the specialist and i recommend the hardened infiltration at number five i have the only officer weapon on this list and that is the homing shot um, against infantry, it can fire three rockets, so it's like the iron torpedo, but targets infantry. Now, what I found so useful about this gun over the iron torpedo is, first of all, it can fire in areas that aren't, that don't have vehicles, so you can do that in hallways, you know, maps like Death Star 2. Um... It can also take out the drivers of speeders and ATRTs, which is incredibly useful. Like, if a speeder's standing still, you can just fire all three rockets and instant kill it. At number four, we have the supercharged sentry for the heavy class. And it's basically a minigun. That's it's simple as that. It's a minigun. And I think you guys are gonna get really mad because you would think it's like number one or two, but really, I think that the other three on the list are definitely better. And we are in the final three, so at number three, I have the Slug Vanguard for the Assault. So it's not like the rest of the Vanguards, it is a Slug Vanguard, meaning it's much more accurate. Uh, you can fire it at pretty good range, actually, and... When paired with the CR2, it is a beast. So that is my loadout for the Assault class is I go Improved Thermal Detonator, some other improvement thingy, Star Card. And then I have the Slug Vanguard because the CR2 is so effective at close range and even like, I wouldn't say medium range, it can do it, but like it can definitely work in between close and medium range and then with the slug vanguard you can destroy a medium range so that is number three at number two we have the explosive sentry for the heavy class it's like the better brother of the sent of the supercharged sentry it um, is like a minigun but it fires these explosive rounds very slow I would say like maybe a, a shot every second or something like that and they can go a long way they have good explosive damage so you don't have to directly hit someone to do damage and it overall just destroys and I think you guys were all expecting what number one is going to be 
and the best star card gun in the game is easily the Vanguard for the Assault class. It is an absolute beast. It's a shotgun, and it's like better than the Slug Vanguard, even though I don't use it. Um, it it's amazing. You can just run and gun with it, and there's a lot of good variations of the Vanguard, like one that makes it just last longer, and like every kill you get makes it go uh, replenishes your time, and it is definitely a very good weapon. You can go on these crazy kill streaks with it, so that is why it is number one. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, let me know in the comments if you like these kind of ranking videos. I'm going to do probably a lot of them before Star Wars Squadrons comes out. And once that comes out, I'll do a lot of Squadrons. So I'll probably do some topics that other YouTubers haven't done, like stationary weapons. And I know this video, Star Card Guns, will be something that no other youtuber has done so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like that helps me out a ton and subscribing helps me out even more so definitely do that it's very appreciated and i will see you guys in the next one